as we're working with exponential equations, we're often interested in how we solve those exponential equations. One way we solve them is if we can get what's called a common base. So first, a few notes to get there. When we say an exponential equation, what we're really talking about is an equation that has the base being a number and the variable is in the exponent. The exponent is the variable, and then the base is a number. And general strategy for solving these is if the base is the same, then the exponents must also be the same. So for example, if I was looking at a problem like 7 to the 3x minus 6 is equal to 7 to the 5x plus 2 power, because those bases are the same, we can say the exponents must also be the same. 3x minus 6 equals 5x plus 2. And we know how to solve this equation. We can move all the variables to one side by subtracting 3x from both sides. Negative 6 equals 2x plus 2. Get the numbers on the other side by subtracting 2. So negative 8 equals 2x. And then finally, dividing both sides by 2 so that x is equal to negative 4. So a pretty simple step. Let's do one more example to see it. But the idea is if the bases are the same, the exponents are the same. So 4 to the 5 minus x power equals 4 to the 3x power. Because those bases of 4 match, the exponents must also match. 5 minus x must be equal to 3x. And then we just solve the resulting equation. We'll get the x's on one side by adding x to both sides. And 5 is equal to 4x. And this one solves in one more step by dividing both sides by 4 so that x is equal to 5 fourths. So if we have a common base, we can just set those exponents equal. Our next video is going to take a look at what happens if we don't have the common base and maybe what work we can do to get that common base.